What's up, everybody? It's Rick. Welcome back to more Planet Zoo. Last episode, we got our first animals. We've got two adorable Akapi in here, and we've learned a bit about them. As a matter of fact, let's see what we've learned about them and what we are currently learning. So we've got Frida Stretfield. There are current veterinarian, and if we get to learning... Wait, have I learned everything that there is to learn about these little guys? I guess I have. Holy crap. Frida has gotten to work learning. Oh my goodness, I did not realize that I learned everything that there is to know. Uh, you know, with that being said, let's go ahead and start to learn some about this bacteria. Because we've learned a lot about these animals. I did keep the game running just a little bit, and I didn't realize I kept it running that much. Uh, and it's raining. You guys notice that it is raining at the moment. So I'm going to pause the game real quick because I'm going to check in with the status of our guests. So one thing that I noticed, and it's driven me a little bit bonkers, is this one right here. I suppose the view of the Okapi from here is fine. Only 4% of the people are saying that. I went online to try to see how I could improve the view of my animals. And it seems to be a running joke on the subreddit for Planet Zoo that everybody gets this. I suppose the view of whatever animal here is fine. Even people who put guests right in front of the animals. It still says, I guess this is fine. I guess that just means you can't please them all. Also, I wish we had a drink shop. The zoo feels small, so we're going to expand that. And I knew I should have brought an umbrella. People are upset about it raining. I think that we can build a gift shop where people can purchase umbrellas. So maybe we'll start out by doing that. Uh, but first and foremost, have we fixed the barriers? The barriers are still looking crumbled and cracked. You can see. And actually, I can click on them and see what the... Okay, the barrier set is 88% which isn't bad for now. If I click the other barriers as well, this one's only 63%. There's no animals in it yet. And this one's at 97%. So these do deteriorate, but I did see online that you can actually go to maintenance and mechanics are checking this every year. I can actually make them check it every six months. There we go. I'm gonna make them check this more frequently just to make sure that everything is staying in order. So, let's do it again. They are going to check this, obviously. But, I want them to check it more often. There we go. And we'll have you guys check this one every six as well. There we go. Okay. So, we're going to get some new animals this episode. But, I do want to check into the facilities. Because, I know I can start to get some shops. People are going to want food and drink here soon. Uh, I'm not going to rush to get that. Because, we're going to have to pay people in order to serve the food and drinks and we're not making a ton of money right now so let's go ahead and go to guest facilities there is a gift shop i think they sell umbrellas so planet zoo large shop planet zoo small shop if i click on this can i get some information about this because i'm pretty sure let me see let's go f1 real quick pause the game f1 and if i say gift shop can i get some info on gift shops maybe not Habitats and exhibits, staff, guests, guests and animals, toilet, happiness, hunger, education, uh, protesters, ooh, want to stay away from those, wish lists, I guess I can't search for gift shops, that's what it's called, right, oh, just large shop, I guess, let me just type in shop, anything come up, okay, you know what, I'm pretty sure they can buy umbrellas here, that's all we got to know, oh, info shop, I think that's actually the one that we want, Theme shop with an info center inside. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the info shop. It's a bit spendy, this info shop. Oh, this is just a shell, isn't it? It just says shell. So I think that that's what that is. Okay, so anyway, info shop. We're going to stick you right here. There we go. We've got an info shop for our people. And it's open for business. There we go. So... Uh, they can buy things in here. Yep, umbrellas. There we go. Just wanted to make sure that they can stay nice and dry when it starts to rain. Okay, that's taken care of. And we've got this glass. We noticed that it's very brittle, right? But here's what I know that we can do. We can actually change this glass. It was brick before. And we can turn it into brick again. And you can't see through brick, but there is an option right here. Glass. Boom. We can actually make little windows. And that actually looks pretty sweet. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace all the plain glass with the brick glass. I just think it looks classier. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and do that. Click you. Do, do, do. 
and brick, windows. I like how easy it is to switch everything. They have made building in this pretty simple. Brick, windows. There we go. I spend a lot of money to do that in the shop, so we're going to need to start earning some money here soon. In order to boost interest in our zoo, let's go ahead and get some new animals. Let's see what's on the market. Go into the animal market. Gonna see what's on the docket. We've already got a copy. Oh, you know what? I think I filtered bio copy. So let's go ahead and just get rid of that filter uh, and see what we've got going on here. Peacocks. I, you know what? I don't want peacocks. So maybe I should just check the stuff that I'm interested in, huh? Somebody in the comments on uh, the video that I posted said that uh, the turtles are kind of picky, so maybe I'll stick away from turtles for now, okay? We'll look for African wild dogs, maybe some camels. We'll check them out. I don't know what the heck a bongo is, but I'm interested. So let's check out what a bongo is. Uh, I'm going to stick clear of some of the bigger animals now because I know that they are more demanding. So I'm going to just pick the ones that are just nice entry-level animals. Nile monitor, sure, I'll check out you. Um... Hippopotamuses, we're not ready to go. Or hippopotami, maybe. We're not ready to go there yet. Plain zebra, sure, I'll check you out. And you know what? That'll be good. For now, let's check into these animals. So we have one zebra. Can I filter by the species that I just looked up? There we go. African dogs. We do have a potential breeding pair of African dogs. That fertility gene is terrible, though. So maybe steer clear of that. What else do we have? More African dogs. And if I can... Avoid buying with the credits. I will. Is the game paused, by the way? I should probably pause it while we're looking for animals. And I should be able to filter out these credits. So let's check without these credits. There we go. Wait. Come on. Didn't I just turn them off? Filter. There we go. I guess I didn't click the filter button. There we go. Okay. Uh, Bongo. Let's see. Dogs, here we go. Oh, ta tapirs, here we go. Those genes aren't terrible. You know what? This little pair of tapirs aren't bad. Okay, I'm going to adopt you guys. There we go. Our next animals are going to be these little weird nose tapirs. There we go. All right. And so let's move the tapirs into quarantine. First order of business. Move you. Wait, oh, did I just, I just sold you back. Ah! I clicked too quick. Are you kidding me? Now I've got to buy another taper. Oh, that's that's dumb, Rick. That you fool, you foolish fool. Okay, now I got to find another taper because I clicked too quick. I even like clicked on the freaking confirmation. God, uh, what a boneheaded move. What were these tapers called? There was a special. There's always like a qualifier with these names. I can never remember what they are. I wish I could just search by taper. You know what I mean? Can I type in taper and search by that, though? Possibly. Baird's taper. That's, what the hell is a Baird's taper? Uh, Baird's. There we go. And I sold my mail, didn't I? No, I kept the mail. Okay. So, there we go. I think that's the female I just bought. So, I bought you twice. The female so nice, I bought it twice. Move, not trade. Okay, there we go. Gonna put you into quarantine and... Put you into quarantine as well. There we go. Okay, great. And we'll go ahead and just speed things up a little bit. Let's go check in on... There we go. The barrier is at 80%, so I think that the mechanics are doing their jobs now. So that's really good news. And which side is the taper going to go in? This side or this side? Probably this side, right? Looks like people are trickling in this way. They'll trickle over here. This will be the second exhibit. And this will be the third. All right. So we're just waiting for confirmation that our tapers are good to go. And then we'll start researching the tapers, getting to know them. Oh, but you know what? Oh, we've got a VIP guest here. Let's go check in. Who's the VIP? Uh, oh, it's Rick. Again. I've come again. I am a big fan of my zoo. Okay, I believe that it said that my tapers are ready. There we go. Oh, and vet research is also complete. So let's go to this. We can start researching now about the... Uh, the tapers, as soon as I put them into their habitat. Okay, quarantine ready. Gonna wait for the second one to get ready there. Come on. 
One of them is ready. There we go. Two. Fantastic. So we can move both of them into their new habitat. Now we just got to wait for them to get delivered. Which should happen pretty promptly. Just keep an eye on this door here. And then we'll slow down the speed as soon as the tapers get dropped off. Okay, here's taper number one. Fantastic. Taper number two should be not far behind. Here it comes. Taper number two. Fantastic. Let's take a look at these funny little things. Oh, they are funny looking, but they're cute, just like my dogs. Look at it. Oh, with your silly little snout. I love you. You are my favorite new animal. Uh, tapers. Their wellness is only at 35% which isn't fantastic. And before we actually get to changing stuff, oh, we got a gift. Guess what we got? Claim a reward for having two different species. Fantastic. And let's go into our zoo and let's learn a little bit about these tapers, huh? Before we get to take care of the tapers, we've learned a lot about the Okapis now. So you can actually see on our info board, it gets updated with all this information about the Okapis as we learn more about them. So the more we know about them, the more our guests know about them. And our guests become informed. And educated guests are happy guests. So this is a win-win-win. But we've also researched all of the information that we need for their um, sort of quality of life items. So let's go into the enrichment items for the Okapi and start placing some. So look at all of these. There's a plant screen. There's rubbing pillars. There's all sorts of stuff. Not an Okapis. An Okapi. Come on. There we go. So food enrichment is these hanging barrels. So let's place a hanging barrel or two around this place. And I learned some new hotkey stuff. So I've been going into the X mode in order to spin this. We don't need to do that. You can actually just hold down Z and then this will come up way easier to spin stuff around. All right, like I said in the first episode, uh, a lot of this information it, you can either play the tutorials, which takes hours, or you can just go online and learn about it, which is what I did. All right, and we've got a few items here, some plant screens for them. Let's see, this plant screen, I'm going to put you... Let's put you back here by these trees. There we go. Can I not place you there? There we go. And a rubbing pillar or two. Rubbing pillar there, and let's put a rubbing pillar back here, huh? There we go. Now our animals should be very happy. If I hit play and check in with the Okapis, 97% wellness. Look at this. Look at the enrichment, 100, 100. Only thing that they're not happy about is their food at the moment. But you know what? We've learned so much about them. I believe I can change the quality of their food. Let me see. How do I do this? If I go to not stud book, not genetics, um, call vet, release to wild. Okay. Where is... I know that there is a setting to change the food. Aha, here you go. You select the exhibit, and then you go to animal, and then you've got food quality here. So the food's going to be more expensive on quality three, but they're going to be a lot happier. There we go. So now we've got happier Okapi. So those should be like maximized happiness now, but now let's start to get our tapers happy. So looking at them, their habitat seems to be their main issue. Their terrain and plants and hard shelter. Let's check out the hard shelter first. Let's figure out what they want. And we'll just change this to taper. And go to hard shelter. Okay, so they like these wooden shelters. And we'll do a... How big is this one? I feel like that should suffice for them. Do they want something a little bit bigger? This one's 200, a little bit flatter. And... Yeah, let's do this one. I'll stick you... This is the front of it, apparently, because there is an arrow. I'm going to stick this taper exhibit right here. Perfect. And let's get some bedding for them as well. There we go. Taper bedding. And looking at that hard shell, do they like that? Hard shelter, insufficient shelter space to cover all animals. So they actually do want something bigger. Interesting. Okay. Wait, I can delete individual parts of the shelter that is wait what that is interesting i did not know i could do that whoa okay so i got that 200 hundred dollar one they must want the big shelter okay big shelter it is you guys you win all right there you go big shelter 
And let's put down some of the bedding as well. There we go. What do you think about that? You silly taper. Checking on you now. Heart shelter? Okay, they're digging that heart shelter. So let's do the terrain next. Taper terrain is going to be... Let's see, a lot of... A lot of soil. Okay, so let's start replacing some soil here. Terrain. And soil. All right. You know, I'm going to go with intensity and size. Increase that. There we go. Make this real fast. There we go. Oh, and you know what? I want to keep that menu open while we're doing this. There we go. So that's too much soil, but that's fine because we're going to replace some short grass here. Let's go ahead and bring that in. Oh, you know what? Let's... Uh, Start to shape their environment. Maybe bring the intensity down a little bit. Maybe a little bit too intense. There we go. Subtlety is key. soil in here now. Okay, a little bit too much soil. Maybe a little bit of rock, huh? Let's get a little bit of rough rock. Maybe a little bit less. Bring it down. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And I'm going to give them a little drinking hole as well. Let's make it near the front. Change this to soil real quick. Okay, and let's see how that's going to look with water. There we go. Oh, and is that water going to be within our water cleaning area? It is. Fantastic. Just want to make sure that that water is going to be cleaned. If I were to do one more drop of water, how big would this get? Can I do one more drop? Try one more time. Okay, I guess I can't place more water. I really thought I would be able... Oh, you know what? I guess it's full. That's fine. That's plenty of water. Let's start to do some plant life for them. So, they like a lot of plant coverage. And they're going to want tropical and South Central America. Okay. Okay. Tropical South Central America. Let's go nature. Biome. Tropical continent. South Central America. Got it. All right. We can do a broken yellow ivy tree. We can do what's Lobster Claw Lodge. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Let's do some of those. Okay. How about some trees? What kind of trees do we have at our disposal? There's these yellow IP. Oh, those are kind of pretty. Oh my goodness, there's a ginormous tree. Some of these trees are so big, it's ridiculous. We can do uh, some more tamarind trees. Oh my god, look at the size of this tree. Okay, that's that's just ludicrously large. There we go. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's a nice tree. Do some of these. I bet hang over into the uh, park a little bit. All right. Going well. Okay. And, oh, coastal mangrove. I like to put one of those in the water hole. There's just stumps. You know what? Uh, just a stump. Sure. There we go. An ode to stump. And finally some, uh, oh, there's some acai palm. Those are cool. Here we go. Put one right there. And we got ooh, water lilies. Cool. Uh, place some lilies in the water. That's kind of neat. I don't know, though. I don't like the way they sit on the water. 
my god, that tree's even bigger. These trees get so ridiculously large. They're like sequoias. It's so ridiculous. Okay. And then you've got these things called elephant ears. Which sounds amazing. I could really go for an elephant ear right now. Elephant ear for days. Oh, you know what? Our window closed. They're almost there. We've almost got them happy. Start putting in some... Oh, just some little bushes. There we go. Some good little land coverage there. And... You know what? We'll go ahead and do a control D and just start to copy some of these. Get some more of these going. There we go. I keep closing this window too. I wish I would just keep it open. There we go. It's fine. We're good. Animal welfare is good, except for their enrichment, but we're learning about that right now. So we've got our new taper exhibit. Time to go just check in with our guests. Oh, speaking of taper exhibits, we just learned a little bit about the tapers. Alrighty. Let's check in with our guests. Go to zoo and guess. Okay. Zoo feels small. Well, we're working on that. Time to go home. Supposed to view the copies. Okay. People. The copy looks too hot. Oh, really? It's scorching out here. Um, is the copy too hot? Let's check. I mean, I think you're just thinking the copy is too hot because temperature's at 100%. You are wrong. I mean, it's very hot. Don't get me wrong. But I've got them some sprinklers, so they seem happy. Did we learn anything about the tapers? As far as what they're going to want for their enrichment items? Let's check it out. If I go to tapers. So we know they're... Food enrichment, fantastic, and we've increased their food quality as well. So their toy quality or their toy enrichment is being researched right now. I'm gonna go ahead and increase their food enrichment now that we know how to do that. Here we go, food enrichment quality two. There we go, keep them a little bit happier. Now let's go ahead and get them their food enrichment item. So we'll go to habitat and there we go. We're still on taper filter. Oh, you know what? Tapers like all of these little enrichment items that are. Uh, Oh, copies like they share an interest in those so I can go ahead and just start placing these all over the freaking place keep them happy see look at them look at them running around they're a lot happier now give them some of these uh, play and poles here all right so there is some overlap and in interest when it comes to these enrichment items so that research isn't going to really be super necessary. I mean, we're going to learn some other stuff in the research, but we already know what their food enrichment items are and stuff. There we go. We got some food barrels. Now, if I click on these guys and check in, 95% welfare. Our animals are doing great, guys. I am super excited with the way that these things are turning out now. So we've got our place for people to buy umbrellas. We've got our enclosure for tapers. And then next thing we're going to do is start to put some stuff into this third enclosure, start to expand the park a little bit, but we're going to need to make money first. And I did put some donation bins around here, but now that we've got this new exhibit, we're going to put some new donation bins around this place. So let's get to it. Donation bin here and here. And then let's go ahead and start to put some uh, signs up some info signs for our people so that they can learn about these animals. So I'll go ahead and put this info board down here, flip it around. The most, like the biggest uh, thing that I've learned between the last episode and this episode is this holding Z and moving things. It is so freaking helpful, you have no idea. It's the biggest time saver. Okay, so there we go. We've got some info boards. Time to teach them about tapers. There we go. Bear tapers. And you can see that the info on the bear tapers is pretty sparse, right? Don't know a lot of information. Room to grow, though. Compare that to the info that we were looking at before about the okapis. Lots of info about the okapis because that's at level four. But as we grow, people will learn more. It's all good. Okay, so I'm going to put a little audio thing there and an audio thing there. There we go. People learning all about damn animals. All right. And now we just got to wait for the money to come trickling in. How's our encampments? Our, I keep calling them encampments. Our enclosures doing. As far as the uh, barrier status goes, they're, they're looking pretty healthy. Uh, cleanliness is only at 65 here. 
I may need to hire some more uh, help. Let's go ahead and look at our staff here. So, we're probably going to want to hire more caretakers. This one, this keeper's got a high workload. As well as the mechanic having a high workload. Vendors also have high workloads. Excuse me, vendors. Take it easy. And the vets. Um, energy. I wonder... Wait, what? Habitat cleanliness is... A, wait, disease risk. That's what I was just talking about. So, we're going to need to make sure that this stays clean. So, we may need to hire some help. Um, and that is the caretaker. So, yep, I'm going to hire another caretaker. Let's do it. Hiring caretaker. There we go. And... Make sure to keep this place clean. How often is the caretaker coming into this place? Um, if I look at... Maintenance... So the keeper comes every... Is it the keeper or the caretaker that actually keeps this place clean? So this guy right here... Try to click on you. So you are a keeper. Okay, so the keeper feeds the animals. I think the caretaker actually cleans up after them. Oh my goodness! My is about to have offspring. Okay. We'll figure out the cleanliness thing soon. But let's watch this Okapi give birth. Come on. Where's your baby? Oh, d don't, don't lay in your poop, you silly Okapi. There it is! There's the baby! Oh my goodness. Oh. <gasps> New baby! Oh, look at you. You are so cute. I love it. So, what I think I know about Okapi is that they don't like to be in groups, and this is a male Okapi. So, when this male grows up, it's probably going to fight for dominance. Genetics, okay, size gene is really good, fertility gene is really good. Some of the other genes, not the greatest, but that's not bad. Okay, so we'll probably want to transfer that little guy out at a certain point. Is this place getting clean now? There we go. Cleanliness, 100%. So, I guess getting that other uh, caretaker... Helped out a lot. Cleanliness, 100%. Perfect. Uh, what do we got here? Research is done. Fantastic. Continue. And we've got somebody named Hitman here. I'm going to say hello because doing so will give us some credits. Okay, so we're learning more about tapers. We just learned uh, about their uh, toy enrichment items, but we already kind of knew about the toy enrichment items, didn't we? We kind of did. So next up... We're going to just check in on our guests one more time. Time to go home. Zoo is great. See, suppose the view of the tapers is fine. A lot of people complain about that. And they wish that we had a drink shop. I think that's what we're going to do next episode. But as far as the end of this episode goes, I think that we should start to look into the next exhibit. And I'm curious just to see how, mo how we're doing on money. Because you can't actually check these donation boxes and see how much they've been making. So that one's made $481. This donation box is made, wow, $2,877. That's incredible. This one over here has made zero, but that's one of the newer boxes. People aren't really making it over here, though. They're kind of stopping here to see the animals, and then they're moving on their way. So now we'll need to maybe increase the cost of tickets. I think that we can do that. Zoo overview. Here we go. We can change the hours. Adults are paying $3, as are the children. I could, I'm sure I could bump this up to $5. All right? I'm going to do it. We're going to bump that up to 5 bucks. I mean, why not? Our inspection report here. We can check this out. Cleanliness and education. Education was low. We're starting to educate people, though. We're learning more about these animals. And we are starting to make some money. It's starting to trickle in. So let's go ahead and check out what kind of animals we have available to maybe pick up for next time. So I did filter this just by the tapers last time. So let's clear that filter this time. And... Check it out. So... Oh! We have a male and a female bongo. 
I was curious about these little bongo things, uh, but they are not very good. We have some pangolins with terrible stats. There are some of those giant tortoises, but I was warned about tortoises, so I'm going to take that warning to heart. Um, what else? I think that's just about it. We can just keep refreshing the list for a second, see if anything else pops up. Anything else of interest? There's, uh, I think those are the same bongos that we just saw. Hmm. Let's go ahead and sort by price. Can I? There we go. Those are... I think that's highest to lowest right there. I wish I can get a couple zebras. Let me see about getting a couple zebras. Hmm. A couple zebras. And I think zebras are... What are they actually called? They are called Plains Zebras. Okay. Nothing came up. I, I was just looking at a plain zebra. What are you talking about? There's definitely zebras. I just saw one. <laughs> this thing is so weird, I swear. I wonder if there's any springbok. Let's see. I've had springbok before, and they're pretty cool. Let me see. Any spring? No springboks available? All right, guys. Well, that's where we're going to wrap up this episode of Planet Zoo. We've got our tapers. It's been very rainy, by the way. Super duper rainy. Uh, before we end, though, actually, let's just take a look. I can check my animal welfare at a glance here, and it looks like they're all happy. So we're going to be relying on uh, these sort of uh, overviews in the future once we start growing because we won't be able to check in individually with everybody. Look at how happy my guests are, though. Ha guests seem super happy, so that's good. We'll try to keep them happy as we move along, guys. Uh, but what are you guys thinking about Planet Zoo? I hope you guys are enjoying it. Thank you so much for your comments and your tips. Seriously, I've been loving them. Uh, keep it up if you guys would. And uh, if you enjoyed this, I hope you did. Let me know by giving this a like, sharing, subscribing, all that good stuff. And come back next time. I'll see you guys then.